guys, welcome back to Bondo Harvest. We're doing something a little bit different today. We're doing a five-part road trip series. In the next five episodes, we'll be driving from Bells Beach, Victoria, all the way back to Bondi, thanks to Bonds, to help celebrate their 100th anniversary. This is my mate Will. He's coming on the road trip too. We'll be surfing, diving, foraging, cooking, living the dream, and meeting some interesting people along the way. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can join us for our epic road trip from Bells to Bondi. All right, so we've just uh, gotten up at 5 a.m. We've packed up the camp, we've headed to Bells, and we're gonna smash out a quick surf. There's only three things that wake me up in the morning, and that's coffee, salt water, and the other one you can you know, use your imagination. <laughs> this trip wasn't about checking the swell forecast and maps. We just really wanted to hit the road and see what we could find. And as the sun rose over Bells Beach, we soon realised we weren't going to be surfing the 50 year storm today. But having never surfed Bells before, we are just super keen to get in the water and have some fun. So we got a few fun waves, just enough to work up a hunger for breakfast. Kiwi fruit, salty kiwi fruit. <laughs> a super tasty frittata and lettuce cups were on the post surf menu. With full bellies, we packed the combi and hit the Great Ocean Road. After seeing how awesome the coastline is and clear the water was, we had to go for a dive. Will had a diving buddy that lived close by, so we made a call for some local knowledge. <laughs> Mate, how epic's that? Yeah. All right, so we've just rocked up just past Kennet Beach. We're gonna go for a dive. A mate of ours, uh, Big Pete is what I call him. Um, he's out there now, but we don't know where he is. Pete was saying there's heaps of crazy and abs around, so we're gonna go for a dive. We're gonna get in amongst uh, the kelp and in amongst the rocks and see if we can find ourselves some lunch. Because um, when we road trip, we road trip and we eat lobsters in style. Thank you very much. <laughs> he's got this massive crate. <laughs> All right, let's go. I'm Pete, I'm from uh, Janjuk. I think I keep coming back home um, mostly because of what we've got on our doorstep which is just amazing. We're diving, we've got great surfing and we've got the Otways right here to, you know, for camping and fishing and all those sorts of things. It's just a heaven on earth. Pete took us to his secret lobby cave. You had to dive about eight foot down and about six foot into the cave to see the lobsters. I probably started diving when I was sort of four or five years old. Uh, my old man used to uh, spearfish so he got me into it and then yeah, just kept at it my whole life. We asked Pete what came to mind when he thought of Bonds. This is what he had to say. Yeah, probably the chesty Bonds, you know, with the, the blonde, bronze dozzy, sort of, you know, with his arms crossed, kind of. Yeah, I think that was probably, you know, one of the things that really stands out about Bonds and then Pat Rafter. <laughs> we bagged ourselves a good sized lobby and called it a day. We'll be cooking this guy up next episode, so make sure you tune in for that. What an epic day. We picked up Applejack. We drove all the way down the coast, passed through Melbourne. We've been for a dive with a buddy, Pete. He's giving us our uh, secret cray spot. I mean, what more could you want in one day? What a backdrop. Applejack hasn't missed a beat. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you share us with your friends. Make sure you check out Bond's 100th anniversary. It's a big deal. And we'll see you next week. You. <laughs>